Welcome to the What's New in Forte Web video. In this video, you'll learn about the newest additions to Forte Web, which include faster input of span and loading information, and removing supports with excessive uplift during member analysis. First, let's look at the performance improvements during input. You'll now notice that you can navigate through the input grids and selection options faster than before. Previously, when you changed any value, span, support width, load magnitude, material selection, the application would pause for a moment to update the screen. Additionally, in certain application tabs, the member graphic would also need to update and you would have to wait for that update to complete before you could change another value. These updates were more noticeable with slower internet connections, but could impact your input speed even with fast connections. Now, the application lets you keep editing properties without requiring screen updates, and in specific tabs, only updates the graphic once you have paused for a short time between changes. To indicate an update is pending, you will see a little spinning continue wheel in the lower left corner of the graphic as you change values in the grids. Once you are done and pause for a few seconds, the graphic updates and the spinning wheel goes away. This way, you will only have to wait once for the graphic to update while changing multiple properties in the grids. Now, let's talk about removing supports with excessive uplift. On the Member Info tab, you will see a new checkbox for specific member types, floor joists, floor flush beams, and floor drop beams. When you check this box on, a member that previously failed analysis due to excessive uplift at a support will additionally be analyzed without a support at that location when at least two other supports exist for the member. If the member passes analysis with the modified condition, you will see this note on the member report. When this condition exists as a result of design, special consideration needs to be taken to make sure the modified condition will meet structural requirements, as we are allowing the member to deflect upward at the removed support. We recommend keeping this option unchecked if you are not able to verify that the modified condition will meet these requirements. For Javelin software users, since Javelin also removes supports with excessive uplift during analysis, if you import floor members from Javelin, this checkbox in Member Info may be checked on. You can always change this property after the job is imported. Removal of supports with excessive uplift gives you more control over member design options. For more information about this feature, click the question mark next to the checkbox to open the help topic. Of course, we didn't just add these two features. Here are some other updates to Forte Web that you might be interested in. To learn more about Forte Web, go to Forte Web Help or start a chat with our support team. You can also check out our Warehouser Software YouTube channel to see more What's New videos for Forte Web software. We hope you will take advantage of the exciting features of Forte Web. Thank you for choosing Warehouser Software.